Hello, this is Emil from Twingate. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a connector into Oracle Cloud, that's OCI. Here I have the Oracle Cloud console. I've got a one terminated VM and one running VM. There will be another one here that will be running our connector very shortly. I have our CLI tool installed, so if you need that, you go to cloud.com slash twingate dash labs slash tg hyphen CLI. The setup instructions are listed. And also I have my OCI CLI installed. Uh, so you will also need that. And finally, I have my Twingate account. So what I'm going to do here is add a new remote network. And I will call this Oracle Cloud. And this will be the network segment for my OCI deployment today. And then to deploy, I just need to run TG deploy OCI VM. This will then interact with the OCI CLI and ask me a series of questions. First one, of course, is which uh, remote network in Twingate do I want to deploy in? So I'm going to select the Oracle Cloud network that we just created. And then I'm going to choose the connector that I'd like to deploy. And now it's actually interacting with the OCI CLI, showing me the list of compartments. I'm going to select my root compartment. And it sees that there is one VCN in there. If there was more than one, it would prompt me to select. So the next thing for me to do is choose which subnet I want to be in. Twingate connectors require inbound internet access. So the, the private one that's uh, not able to be selected actually does not allow inbound access. So I'm just going to select the test subnet. And then I can choose the shape of my instance. I'm going to choose the always free E2 micro. And then it's going to ask me which image I would like to use. So I will just use the Ubuntu minimal image. And it will let me choose a public key. So I'm going to create a new one and I'll call it TG Connector. And finally, it asked me to select an availability domain. I'm just going to choose 81. And it will take maybe a few seconds to start provisioning this VM. What I can do is if I go into my Oracle Cloud Console, it should appear here when that happens. Here we are. We can see it's in provisioning state. And if I go over here, what I would expect to happen is the connector light will go green and we'll see some metadata when it comes up. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's talk for a moment about why why we're going to do this. Well, once I've deployed this connector, what I'll be able to do is grant engineering resources uh, access to, say, databases. I'll also be able to explore the uh, Oracle Kubernetes features without actually having to expose anything to the public internet. And quite nicely, if I'm running Apex, I'll be able to allow list the connector IPs to restrict who can actually access the Apex applications that are in Oracle Cloud. Okay, took a few minutes, but the connector is now deployed and I can see the v version, the VCN we deployed into, the subnet, host name, the egress IP, which will come in quite handy uh, for the allow listing use case. And we can see the compartment and the availability domain. So now this is up and running, I'm set to go. I can add my resources by going to the remote network and clicking here, add resource, define them one by one. And that might be uh, Oracle databases, or as I said earlier, uh, Apex applications. Thank you for watching.